Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Hit the Road. The last time you remember, we came to the carnival, found out we've been recruited to find a missing Bigfoot and Giraffe Neck Girl, played the games, and rode on the Cone of Tragedy, which led to the tragic loss of our inventory. Oh, however, shall we get it back? Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Man, yeah, we didn't walk this way before, having exited out the back of the freak show tent. Well, there is an exit over here somewhere. <laughs> and bingo, lost and found tent. Holy cripes on toast! Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. Have you lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Wait here while I search through the back room. He sounds a bit like Emo Phillips. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the Kono tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. Although, interestingly enough, we do have one other new item. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. I wonder how that got in there. And boom, new location to explore. Hey, Max. What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. You're my hero, little buddy. I can't pick that up. I don't think I possess the psychotic strength needed to ring the bell. A strength -a meter I shudder to think of the number of promising dates cut short by this fiendish contraption. And over here we can talk to... Hey, flame boy! The fire eater a little bit yes. more. Can you please put on a shirt? No. Anything else? Did you ever talk to Bruno before he escaped? How could I? He was in a block of ice. What do you know about Trixie? Absolutely nothing. We never talked to each other. Ever. Are you sure you don't know anything about Conroy Bumpus? He is a country singer, right? Sorry, but I don't know much about him. I'm more of a mumbo fan. Anything else? I bet you can't make your flames reach the top of the tent. Watch me, Jojo. Anything else? Could you show us something neat? Sure. Anything else? I bet you can't make flames shoot out of your butt. Take a hike. Amateur. I bet you can't make flames shoot out of your butt. Take a hike. Amateur. I bet you can't make your flames reach the top of the tent. Watch me, Jojo. Alright, I think that's all we're gonna get out of Flambe here. Anything else? Eh, uh, good. Which only leaves us this pathway to explore. Tunnel of Love. I think this is the proverbial ugly swan that used to be a beautiful duckling. And back at the Cone of Tragedy. Want to ride the Tunnel of Love? Yippee! Uh, 
Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. Would it be tacky to root for the snake? Would it be tacky to root for the snake? Wow, a loving recreation of that Evelyn Morrison classic, Revenge of the Gill Guy. You really should get out more, Sam. That's one spooky Gill Guy. It's a cleverly hidden secret door that looks like a cheap looking painting of a castle. Just another random axe of violence. Just another random acts of violence. Thank goodness today's leaders react more calmly to negative opinion polls. Yeah, there is something darkly funny about putting Henry VIII in the Tunnel of Love exhibition. Now, you may think that there's nothing much of interest in this ride apart from a few glib, silly remarks. Well, that was fun. My little body's covered with swan pimples. But I think we can shed some light on things. Wanna ride the Tunnel of Love again? Why not? Because after all, thanks to having played Whack-A-Rat and bringing that light bulb with us, Gimme! No way, Max. Look what they did to that rat. Why, it's old Mr. McCready, the janitor. I guess he's off the list of suspects. It's my little buddy. Hmm. Yeah, we can annoy the rats with that, but how are we going to get into that concealed I door? I can't pick that up. I can't walk through this door. It's not real. Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. I'll never shave again. You never did. Voila! Because remember how we were told that uh, Trixie had a friend who hung out in the Tunnel of Love? This is him. How just spud us in his native habitat. This looks like the Tunnel of Love reset switch. Just like at the bowling alley. There. That should get things running again. Which will help us with exiting this place, but... Let's talk to the potato. Who are you? I'm Doug, the bowl man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. Several hours later... And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus. And... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. Hmm... I think I may weep openly. Look, you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. 
Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. Well, we just happen to have some pecan candy with us, but let's see what else we can get out of them. What you eating? Little boy blue blobs. They've got enough sugar to keep me going for hours. What the heck are you, anyway? I'm a mole man. Figure it out. I think he's a mole man, Sam. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. Are you sure there's nothing more you can tell us about Bruno? I've told you all that I know. You should really talk to my uncle, Shavul. Oh, yeah. I'll also give you my key to Trixie's trailer for some pecan-flavored candy. Just another reminder. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Because you told us. Yes. Pecan's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Some key. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to it what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hmm. Hell of a story, ain't it? I can't believe that Flambe lied to us. Oh, oh, the shame of it all. Hey, Spud. What? Are you sure there's nothing more you can tell us about Bruno? I've told you all that I know. You should really talk to my uncle, Shavul. All right. I think that's all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. It's a keys key. Oh, Sam, that's a crowbar. Let's pummel somebody. You're such a cute, misguided little bunny. Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. Well, this is undignified. Oh, boy! Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. I don't think we should risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. So, cat poster... It's... it's Max. That's a disquietingly tall bed. How can you say disquietingly with a straight face, Sam? It's a hope chest. I hope it's filled with more gold than my poor eyes can stand. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. These lotions remind me of traumatic childhood trips to the groomer. These lotions remind me of traumatic childhood trips to the groomer. All right, let's try the dresser. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida.
It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. It's a hope chest. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. It's a Still Walker's costume. Still Walker costume, eh? There's nothing else in here. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. All right, well, that has given us several locations to check out. And I think that's it for the carnival for now. Although, I think we can question Flambe about his lying to us. Hey, Flame Boy. Yes? Can you please put on a shirt? No. Anything else? Now Trixie talk you into freeing Bruno. She charmed me with your feminine wiles. She also promised to pay me 20 bucks. You can drop the act. We know it was your kerosene-soaked breath that freed Bruno. And we know that you sometimes go for days on the same pair of socks. Okay, you got me. Just don't tell my bosses. Maybe we should rat him out, Sam. The thought of him out in the streets drinking lighter fluid seems somehow ironic. It's scary to watch you wrestle with abstract concepts, Max. And spontaneously grow a second set of ears. Are you sure you don't know anything about Conroy Bumpus? He is a country singer, right? Sorry, but I don't know much about him. I'm more of a mumbo fan. Anything else? Eh, uh, good. All right, so... I think we'll hit the Gator Golf first. This would look great in our office. It's about time they closed this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. It's a broken golf ball retriever. He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. Not that I care, but what made you think of putting alligators and golf together? I didn't. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with 10-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kid. Court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Don't you ever leave here? Only to feed the gators. When's feeding time? Whenever there's food in front of them. Hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoot? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Hmm. Protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. 
What do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. I've named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Don't you ever leave here? Only to feed the gators. When's feeding time? Whenever there's food in front of them. This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kids. All right. The court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? And let's see if Max has anything to say here. Are you as confused as I am? More so. I'm excited. Who is he? I think I've got something in my eye. Try digging it out with a fork. That always works for me. Funny, I remember him usually having more to say than this. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Want to do some painting, Max? You know us lagomorphs are colorblind, Sam. That's weird. So am I. What do you think we should do with these paper dolls? I say we go down to the scummy side of town and give a bunch of hoods some paper cuts. Rasp, rasp, rasp. You're losing it, Sam. I wonder where Bruno is. I'm still trying to figure out where I am, Sam. I wonder where Trixie is. I shudder to think of the gross kissy-poo noises she's making with her boyfriend, Bruno. I'm concerned about this Conroy Bumpus character. Don't worry, Sam. We'll mop up the floor with his cheap toupee. Why is this game called Car Bomb, anyway? To avoid getting the pants suit off us. But you don't wear any pants. Don't remind me. Well, that's all. All right, well, with that done, I think we'll go ahead and close this chapter out, and next time, we'll head to the world of fish. See you then.